our respected principal, Dr. Ajay Sharma sir, teacher in charge, Dr. Ruchi Sharma ma'am, respected Sudhar Shankar sir, and esteemed speakers and our fellow college students. The Rotaract Club of SB College welcomes everyone to Insights Forum 2024, a knowledge and skills extravaganza. Today marks the inauguration of a transformative event where the intersection of entrepreneurship, funding strategies, CV building, and financial literacy converge to illuminate pathways towards success. Designed specifically for the dynamic minds of college students, this seminar endeavors to equip you with the invaluable insights, tools, and perspectives essential for navigating the entrepreneurial landscape and securing your place in the world of business. Now, we would like to invite the cabinet of SD Rotaract to felicitate respected principal sir. I would, I would request the cabinet to please facilitate Dr. Ruchi Sharma ma'am. I would like to I would like to request our cabinet to facilitate Siddharth Shankar sir. Now we would request our principal sir on stage to facilitate our guest speaker, Mr. Naman Singhal sir. than ever. Whether you dream of launching a groundbreaking startup or leading corporate ventures, the journey begins with a deep understanding of the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Entrepreneurship isn't merely about ideation. It's about execution, resilience and adaptability. Thus, an agenda encompasses not only ideation and innovation, but also practical aspects such as securing funding, mastering financial literacy and crafting a compelling personal narrative through CV building. These skills form the bedrock of a successful entrepreneurial journey, empowering you to navigate challenges, seize opportunities and drive meaningful impact. As you embark on this enriching journey with us, capture every moment to engage inquire and connect. Our esteemed speakers are here to share their wealth of knowledge, experiences and insights to inspire and guide you along your entrepreneurial journey. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and fellow entrepreneurs, it is with great honor and anticipation that we welcome our visionary leader, Mr. Naman Singhal sir to the stage with a distinguished career marked by innovation, impact, and unwavering dedication to excellence. Mr. Singhal stands as a beacon of inspiration for aspiring entrepreneurs worldwide. As the CEO of Atal Incubation Center, a driving force behind India's startup ecosystem, Mr. Singhal embodies the spirit of entrepreneurship and innovation. His tenure at the helm of this prestigious institution has been characterized by a relentless pursuit of nurturing and empowering the next generation of disruptors, visionaries, and change makers. Mr. Singhal's journey is a testament to his unwavering and fostering innovation. With a rich tapestry of experiences spanning roles as esteemed organizations such as Ola and Niti Ayo, coupled with a solid academic foundation from the prestigious Indian Institute, Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta, his insights are rooted in deep understanding of the entrepreneurial landscape and the transformative power of technology. Please join me in extending a warm welcome 
to Mr. Naman Singhal, an entrepreneur par excellence, a visionary leader, and a catalyst for change. Guys, please give a round of applause for Sir. Right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, before anything else, please give a round of applause to your anchors. Uh, super amazing. Uh, this, is, this is quite the most uh, flowery introduction I've received in a while. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of making me nervous uh, with the, with the, you know, all the accolades they've said. Itna zada nahi kiya yaar. Very, very hands-on and very uh, on-ground experience is what I have uh, in the last eight, nine years. Uh, firstly, thank you to SD College, uh, Principal Sir, um, uh, Dr. Vikram, um, SD uh, Rotaract Club and uh, Anand in particular. Uh, you guys have been amazing. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me here. It's a, it's a privilege and an honor uh, to be interacting with all of you. Um, what, what we'll do in the next, uh, let's say, 40-45 minutes is that uh, I'll, I have some slides prepared. Uh, but uh, I was telling Anand that uh, I really like to interact and, uh, you know, uh, with, with people like us who've been on ground uh, executed a lot of campaigns, a lot of uh, stuff on ground. Uh, we, we kind of feel a lot more comfortable, you know, if you have questions, just throw them at me and I'll, I'll try to, you know, uh, give you my responses. So, uh, we'll, we'll try to keep it very interactive, okay? So, be as interactive as possible. Uh, say whatever comes to your mind. Uh, don't worry about right or wrong because this is entrepreneurship and um, you know, the first step is asking questions and uh, then seeking out responses. Okay, so with that, um, uh, the anchors have already given my intro. So I come from uh, Delhi, um, did my engineering from Delhi College of Engineering, then went on to do an MBA because um, I realized that I, I, it's better to save the world from a bad engineer. Um, so, so I went on to do that and uh, that's where I realized uh, that, you know, uh, education is not that bad after all. Padhai is a very good thing and there are a variety of areas to study. And uh, started developing an interest towards marketing. Like a lot of people who end up at, uh, at an IM or any B school for that matter, uh, you know, you have very vague understanding of uh, finance, operations, etc. Um, so we said, okay, uh, marketing karke dekhte, interest to sab mein aara tha. Uh, so, uh, our campus placements hote the, I'm sure, uh, yahan pe bhi honge ab logon ke. Uh, so, uh, got into Ola Caps and uh, the period was very interesting. So, I joined Ola when, um, uh, when, when Ola was on the verge of expanding, we had just raised a round. Uh, this was March of 2015. And a lot of digital technologies, a lot of, um, you know, startups were just taking shape. Uh, Ola was amongst the first 10 unicorns of the country. A uh, lot buzzword start was started, disruption, innovation. Uh, AI ki baat usame koi nahi kar tha, interestingly. Uh, 2016 was when data sciences came and then uh, 18, 19 mein we started hearing a lot on AI. Uh, Niti Aayog uh, came up with their uh, AI strategy for India. So uh, what I what I wanted to tell you was that I was kind of in the midst of all this happening, right? And um, a lot of you, uh, I'm, I'm sure all of you have Gmails and all, and आपके पास अभी spam emails वगैरह आते होंगे, right? Uh, back in 2015, those were our marketing channels and uh, you know, we've kind of rolled out email campaigns. We were probably the biggest spammers of the country uh, from there to uh, push notifications to in-apps. Abito Swiggy maybe also you get with your name, right? Uh, that Naman, are you hungry and all? Uh, like, I'm always hungry but that's separate. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, uh, you know, uh, did that for about two years, then went on to do something very interesting, uh, which was to work for the government of India. Uh, I worked at Niti Aayog uh, in a division called Atal Innovation Mission, and uh, they work on innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, they kind of 
uh, have programs for supporting innovation across the st stages. So, uh, just a quick show of hands, uh, does any of you remember having an Atal Tinkering Lab or ATL at your school? Yes. Yeah? Yes. So, that was one of the initiatives that we did back in 2017. And uh, uh, the next set was creating a lot of incubation centers because we realized that through ATLs we can uh, kind of give a playground to the students where they can come, they can look at the problems going on in the society and they can tinker with those equipment to kind of build solutions, right? And I'll come to all of these aspects in a structured manner, so how do you think about a problem? But the, uh, but the point was we should support innovation right at the first level, that was the school level. And then when people have that mindset, they can go to their colleges where they'll have these adult incubation centers. So if they are serious about those solutions they are working on, then they kind of have a breeding ground where they can convert those into successful or, or a business venture of sorts. Right? Uh, so did that for another two years, then went on to work for um, Reliance Industries. We were building a university there. Um, again, uh, I was the first employee, so kind of did everything from the scratch and uh, that gave me a lot of insights onto how you actually build a venture, so to say. So all our plans were on paper and we actually translated that into uh, reality on ground, uh, launched with our uh, institutions, launched with two programs, set up the uh, advisory board, set up the governance boards, etc. Um, so that was very, and, and you know, I came from a marketing background, so I kind of built the entire brand architecture and how it translated into different, um, you know, uh, collateral, speed, digital or physical. A lot of it might be sounding a lot of jargon to a lot of you, but, uh, but just bear with me, we'll come to uh, all of this. And now I run uh, the Atal Incubation Center at Indian School of uh, Business, Mohali. Uh, I believe you all must have heard of ISB. Is there anyone who's not heard of ISB? Please raise your hand and I'll be happy to explain. Don't feel shy. Yeah? Okay, you haven't heard of ISB. So ISB is uh, one of the uh, most premier B schools of the country. Uh, not only the country, it's uh, one of the best in the world. We are ranked about uh, in the 30s across the world. In fact, uh, on entrepreneurship, um, uh, there was there was one report which ranked us number three in Asia Pacific uh, last year in October. Uh, so we've been doing significant activities. Uh, it's a one-year PGP course uh, that that ISB kind of uh, introduced in the Indian scenario, uh, very much in line with the Ivy Leagues and all. And um, now we also have an incubator which through which we try to support a lot of budding entrepreneurs, founders in pursuit of giving them the right, uh, you know, guidance, the right um, equipment, the right facilities to uh, then build scalable ventures. So that's what we've been doing in the last 20 years of our existence. We've produced uh, almost 16,000 alums. Uh, what is interesting is that uh, while a lot of these people are now at significant positions in the uh, corporate India, uh, but almost 10% of them have been in the startup e ecosystem and this is about 1600 people we are talking about, right? Uh, we've had almost 130 of our alums run their own startups, uh, 12 unicorns have come out of ISP, so there's a very rich startup ecosystem knowledge that our institution has in general. Uh, we try to bring all of those resources when we are helping these new age founders uh, through the incubation centers and the activities that we do. Thank right. you sir for explaining to me. Great. All right. Um, so let's, uh, let's begin, um, you know, um, let's, let's just kind of uh, start with the interaction, who are entrepreneurs, uh, you know, just shoot with, with your ideas. Anyone, who do you think is an entrepreneur? The one who knows when, when to take a risk and when to take a step back. Okay, so the one who knows 
uh, when to take risk, okay? okay. Kind of has an idea and he wishes to pursue it and is willing to take risk for it. Okay, so has an idea and willing to take risk. So someone who identifies the problem in the society and tries to solve it. Okay, okay, so identify is a problem. I'm going to connect some of these. So identify is a problem, has, a, has an idea, build something on it while taking a leap of faith and risk. Uh, Sorry? The one who thinks out of the box. Okay, so the ideas can be out of the box also. Okay. Grab opportunities from business environment. Grab opportunities from business environment. Okay, so building scalable ventures. Okay. Okay. Someone exploits available opportunities. Uh, who? Someone who exploits available opportunities. Exploits available opportunities. Perhaps who brings funds into the organization or something. Brings funds to the organization. Okay, so he should also be good at fundraising okay okay anybody else so the one finds an innovative solution to a problem one who finds an innovative solution so idea innovative solution out of the box okay okay all of that taken into account so i think uh, you know good 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 uh, uh, all of this is is what are qualities of an entrepreneur uh, from the way i see it he's a problem he or she whatever He's a problem solver, uh, he's a leader, uh, and of course, uh, he has a business acumen. So, uh, the person needs to build a, a kind of identify a problem in the society and try to build a business solution around it. So, what is a business solution? Uh, let's say you build a product or a service and then somebody else is willing to pay for it, right? So, you identify a gap in the market, you try to address it through one of your ideas, out of the box, um, innovation, whatever, and you bring it to the market in such a way that there is always a customer willing to pay for it. Right. So those are the uh, basic tenets of entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship. Um, you know, this slide is kind of very very important so uh, when we see entrepreneurs uh, what we see is uh, unicorns we see billion dollar valuations we see uh, you know people driving around maseratis and ferraris uh, we see uh, them giving jazzy speeches uh, we see all uh, i'm sure most of you would have seen steve job steve jobs giving these uh, great speeches uh, you know, so so that's what our image of an entrepreneur is right uh, but what goes behind right so there's a lot of dedication that a person needs to do there's a lot of perseverance in fact uh, I can quote Ola's example so can you uh, can any one of you uh, and of course without googling uh, tell me um, when was Ola started any any rough idea Sorry? 11 or 12. 11 or 12. So, uh, do you know of Ola, uh, you know, uh, applying their cabs in 2011 and 12? I thought the plan might have started by then. Okay, the plan might have started by then. Okay, okay. Uh, some of you said 14, 15? Roughly around 2010. You said that? Okay, uh, so um, how how do you say that? Uh, have you heard of any news or something that makes you think that 2000 days? Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, very broadly, uh, we've seen Ola in the market since 2014. But it took Ola almost three years before that to kind of build a product build something that will be uh, relevant to the Indian market and uh, also raise a lot of funds as some of you mentioned uh, and then you know create a solution through which a person can book a cab. So Bhavesh Agrawal and Ankit Bharti, the founders of Ola, they used to work out of a very small one, one room in uh, Mumbai back in 2012. Right. They were graduates of IIT Bombay, they started, they worked at other places and then they started building. So it took almost two years, right? Um, and, and imagine doing that without any kind of support. So they didn't, they were bootstrapped, they had their own funds. Uh, they were chasing something which was not there in the Indian market at all. Uh, so 
all of that must have taken a lot of you know uh, perseverance they must have had a leap of faith of course they would have had people to guide them along the way on how they can go around building uh, something that is relevant but a lot of these things you know is something that we don't see so uh, what i really want to leave you guys with is uh, is is also the fact that there is glamour there is fame there is money but there is also a lot of grinding a lot of uh, you know perseverance that goes behind um why uh, you know all of that is important and uh, in the audience uh, you know i'm not going to ask this but uh, i kind of feel that there would be some people who don't want to start their ventures and still you know they are mulling over the idea ki theek hai mere paas kuch idea aa jayega to main kuch start karunga but uh we always encourage people to pursue an entrepreneurship passion of sorts right so you you think about a product and you kind of build on it so what all skills would be required uh for you to uh be a successful entrepreneur right so let me let me do it the other way around i'm going to give you a skill and then we'll discuss why that skill is important okay so uh, the first thing is creativity why do you think creativity is important to be a good entrepreneur because there is already enough competition in the market if you're not uh, competitive then there is enough big players who can uh, compete with you on the price thing if you're a new venture okay so there is a lot of competition in the market so you need to be creative on the price no, that not on the price your product is uh, similar to the things that are already available in the market then there is enough players who can play on the price Yeah, uh, the cost. Oh, okay. So you need to build something that is not there in the market. Something that is unique. Something that is unique. Okay. So innovative, unique, and for that you need creativity. Anybody else? Just to add to that, the idea should also be creative, and it should the problem that we have identified, it should solve it effectively and efficiently as well. Okay. Okay. So the problem that you have identified should be solved in a in an innovative manner. In an innovative uh, manner. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Right, so these are very very standard, right? A um, lot of uh, lot of skills are required, but of course creativity is important because uh, because of what you said, right? Uh, people should be able to think out of the box. They should be able to come up with a product which is not generally not there in the market. Uh, that is why people will then switch to buying your product, right? So for that you need to be creative. The next thing is critical thinking. Uh, why do you think that is important? I can't. Oh, there. Huh. All right. So. Uh, think about fundraising and then where to put money where not to put money okay also to uh, see all the possible outcomes because sometimes we see a particular thing from only one perspective but critical thinking will help us to see from all the great great that's a great response so uh, you know looking at evaluative about the circumstances evaluative so that is that is what is complementing to what he said uh, yeah critical thinking is a very necessary for evaluating a planning by seeing the pros and cons okay so, so evaluating by seeing pros and cons so what you know the gentleman here also said ki uh, looking at the different pro, uh, different solutions different scenarios understanding the pros and cons and then evaluating okay okay finding the market gap finding the market gap that's very interesting right so critical thinking it's it goes literally right uh, you become critical of everything that is around a problem or your idea or your solution right so it basically gives you these analytical abilities uh, in terms of evaluating uh, the different outcomes and then taking the right decision uh, right uh, the, the 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 most important part is according to me is that it helps you look at diverse viewpoints right and that is very important when it comes to building ventures uh the third thing is uh, problem solving ability uh, it's very intuitive and obvious but uh, you know why do you think problem solving 
is uh, one of the skill to be a good entrepreneur. So the consumer will buy your product only if his problem is being solved. Very nice, very nice. That's probably one of the most articulate answers I've ever received. So I, I, I think I'm going to use that in my next presentation. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Um, what else? Um, for a smooth operation. For a smooth operation, okay, okay. Can you elaborate a little? Well, uh, if there are problems in the, for example, a product, then that product won't work in the market. So, problem solving ability is necessary for a smoother operation. Okay, okay. Great. Uh, what else? Not everything will go, go as planned, so should be dynamic. Very nice, very nice. So, you should be dynamic, you should be agile in, in, in terms of uh, adapting to what is going on, how, so let's say you take a solution and that did not go as per your plan and then you kind of pivot is what the new buzzword is, right? So you pivot to a different solution and all. So all of these are uh, very interesting. One more thing is, uh, you know, uh, in, in and a lot of you will go um, into the uh, employment pool or the workforce as we call it in about two years from now. And you will realize that you will be, uh, you know, faced with a lot of business problems, right? And one way to it is you kind of get bogged down and you say, Ki, ye to se ho gai nahi. I don't have the acumen to solve these. And the other way, the entrepreneur way is, okay, why don't I break it down into sub problems? Let me start looking at uh, solution bit by bit. So breaking down a problem into steps and start solving. So that's one of the good skill. Uh, the next is again very intuitive but communication skills. Why do you think this is important? So communicating with the team, trying to make them understand what you're building and all? Building oh. relationships. Building relationships. By launching something new, new, you need to be able to communicate it at the best to the audience, to the target audience. Okay, so that your customers understand what you're building. Communication is essence for effective coordination in an organization to achieve great success. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Efficient communication with all the stakeholders. With all stakeholders, right. So, so that kind of sums it up. Uh, it says that, uh, you know, you are able to convey very clearly what you are building. So let's say कोई भी product है, Ola है, वो बोलता है कि मैं दो मिनट में आपको cap दे रहा हूँ, right? That is the communication, right? Then and then if they had they said that it is a ride hailing app through which you can you know look at what are the different options that are available and then try to book that the one that suits your budget and your liking, then it is kind of confusing to the customer, right? Versus saying that Two minute cap, right? Uh, and two minutes, I two minute magi bhi aata hai, right? So rather than saying that it is a form of something eatable, it's got noodle, which is a delicacy of some other part of the world, and you can club it with a magic masala, which by the way is prepared by so and so uh, ingredients. We're just saying it's a two minute eatable that you get, right? So that's where you know articulation and communication is very important so that you are able to convey what your product really stands for right so that is a another very interesting skill to be a good entrepreneur and uh, leadership um, you know goes without question that um, you have to uh, be a good leader you have to inspire teams you've got to have a good vision and then you're able to align people to that vision if you're building something and uh, yeah any any responses on leadership do you think we need elaboration yeah. right uh, and the last that i say very fondly is an entrepreneurial mindset so it is a it is an amalgamation of all of the other skills that we talked about so a person who's got problem solving abilities, who's good at communicating, who's a critical thinker, who's a visionary leader and uh, you know uh, he's able to create something out of the box uh, or he can be creative about 
the product that is bringing to the market. Uh, so all of this, these skills in totality would be called entrepreneurial mindset. Now, uh, very quickly, I'm going to diverge a little and talk about the benefits of an entrepreneurial mindset, right? Uh, why? Uh, let me throw a question. So, as I said, I feel that some of you might not be in a position or might not in your head think that I will do something versus saying, hey, I am fit for a corporate role, I will go there. Why do you think some of the skills that we talked about or how do you think they, will, they would help you in doing better at your corporate jobs even if you don't want to start something of your own? Is the question clear? Yeah, so how do you think those skills would help you in general in your job life, so to say? Sir, as you mentioned, I talked about communication skills. So they are essential uh, in a corporate role, in a corporate role as well. Okay. Not just in being an entrepreneur, but uh, good communication plays a role in personal life as well and in corporate life as well. Okay. Okay. So these are quite essential. What were you saying? Adding to that, only okay, like there is a different. Uh, so good communication is essential is what I get. What about the other things? Uh, taking up initiatives. Taking up initiatives? Uh, talking about creativity, we need to come up with different solutions. We need know? to come up with different solutions. Challenge accepting attitude. Challenge accepting, very good. Problem solving skills. Problem solving skills. To know pros and cons of different situations. Okay. Different okay. Different okay. Different okay. Different different to know pros and cons of everything, right, right, so open to ideas, open to ideas, very good, very good, so, you know, I, I do hiring for uh, my team right now, uh, while we are in the incubation side, so we need special talent, but even if when we, when we were hiring for Ola or for um, Geo Institute where I worked, uh, a lot of these things are very essential, right, I would want to have a person in my team who's good at, you know, communicating who's good at problem solving right a lot of and you will grow in your careers to realize the you know as and when you keep growing the corporate ladder the problem starts becoming very vague right mujhe kuch karna hai itna vague hota hai theek hai abhi wo kaise karna hai that is something you need to figure out so i would want people in my team who can relate to saying ki hame kuch to karna hai and they can break it down into saying ki, okay, these are the five options to look at. These are the pros and cons of these five options. This is how we raise budget for different options. And then accordingly, my recommendation is to say that let's go with option number three and build on uh, these particular aspects. And this is, by the way, how I see you uh, operationalizing it, right? So I would, we, we all need to uh, develop on those skills. So even if you do not have an idea of your own or if you don't want to start something of your own having an entrepreneur entrepreneurial mindset will give you a lot of these skills right so um, the way we say is that it kind of shifts culture it, it kind of changes your mindset from going to a very you know a very rote learning or very you know theoretical at things to kind of start understanding how I start looking at a business problem, how I, uh, you know, look at different aspects of it and how I start solving for some of these uh, options. Of course, uh, it unleashes a lot of your potential. It will definitely give you a lot of confidence if you start working on uh, some of your ideas um, and, and these skills will obviously, uh, you know, make you more more employable than the uh, than some of your counterparts um, of course it sparks leadership uh, when you uh, kind of look at a very small idea so let's say today you start thinking about an idea and if you build something around it during your college itself what it will give you is that an exposure of how you think about finances how you think about operations how do you think about marketing and telling people about your product. So all of these skills is what you will gain if you start pursuing uh, an idea of your own. Um, so let us uh, kind of come back and I'm kind of near uh, to what I had planned to cover. Um, so how, uh, you know, 
a lot of you said that a person needs to uh, be a good uh, problem solver. So, how do we identify a problem? How do we define the problem? Okay, uh, you know, uh, Mars pe life nahi hai. Abhi ye problem hai to how do you check whether it is a problem worth solving or not? Right? Uh, so forget about the Mars example. But uh, how do you kind of identify uh, a problem worth solving? We say that you have to look at a problem that is relevant. Um, are there, uh, you know, customers for the problem? Is it, uh, is it actually a problem in the first place? Right? Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of students from schools, we keep interacting with them, uh, we run different programs for school children where they uh, work in their utter tinkering labs as most of you said and they pitch their ideas to us. We see that they look at their local surrounding and they say even to the extent of saying that collect nahi ho rahe. right? and let me do something about it, let me kind of build maybe an app, maybe uh, a segregator of sorts that kind of does some efficiency on that, right? So, but these are problems worth solving. I found that there is a lot of relevance. There are a lot of um, people like me who kind of identify this as a problem, right? Uh, when Dipendar Goel started Zomato, uh, right, he, he probably was not the only one to uh, to say ki yaar, mujhe midnight food craving ho hai, uh, and I want something to eat and I can't go out so that why can't the food just come to me and then he started talking to I mean I don't know him but of course he would have started talking to different people in his peer group to understand that it is a relevant problem right um, and then we come to the problem needs to be solvable right what I mean is um, Again, Mars pe jana hai, but solve kaise kare? Right? Kya uske liye relevant technologies hai, uh, relevant resources hai? Uh, if you want to build a solution to go to the Mars, are you having enough resources at your disposal to go to the Mars? Or can you like make use of what is freely available in the market? So a lot of these open source solutions are available. Can you use them to build something that you want to solve? Um, Otherwise, all of these problems will be a distant reality. And the last one is, uh, is it marketable? Uh, so, as I said, are there customers willing to pay for it, right? Uh, even in the Mars example, you can find some people who would want to pay for it, right? Uh, of course, there are companies who are trying to solve for that. But, uh, you know, coming to, let's say, uh, a Maggie example, <coughs> right? they had people who would pay a certain amount to get that product. Uh, people would pay to get a cab hailed in two minutes at their doorstep. So uh, this is how you look at the different uh, aspects. Um, and then, you know, once you've identified the problem, how do you create a solution towards it? So I've written the DFB framework, but let me, you know, hear your ideas. How do you start creating a solution? So what is DFP? That I'll tell you. That I'll tell you. Market research of the problem. Market research of the problem and then how do you create a solution? Maybe we can go one step ahead. Seeing the common problem and then think about how to solve it. Okay, so problem identification, okay. You ensure that the problem is large enough to solve it. Large enough to solve, okay, that's a good one. Like do a proper market analysis, like total addressable market and how much we can capture out. Okay, right? okay, so seeing the market, is there enough market for it? Yes. Is there a total addressable market? Yes. And then seeing how much I can address out of it. Uh, by actually looking at the market and analyzing what type of a solution are people looking for the problem. Analyzing the market and then also analyzing the solution, thinking about the different solutions that people can relate Arranging to. Arranging for the resources. Arranging for resources. SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis. Uh, there was somebody else. Yeah. So, the such solutions which, uh, which will help the mass. Such solutions that will help the mass. So, mass is very different for different products, right? So, you will have 
a small niche of people right now at least who would want to go to the Mars, right? Uh, not, I mean, I'm just assuming that a lot of us don't want to go to the Mars yet. Uh, so, you know, that goes to definition of the total addressable market, both in terms of customers and in terms of your uh, financials. Ki kitne dollar ki market hai right? To see competitors. To see what the competitors are doing. Very good, very good. So, uh, this is how we kind of start breaking it down. We say that uh, you look at a solution from a DFV framework is, uh, so the first one is uh, desirability. Will it, uh, will it fulfill a need, right? Is the solution desired in the market, which is what you were saying? Uh, is there actually a need of something? Is it unique, right? Uh, even if there's a competitor of a Maggi, koi ramen noodles or whatever, is there something unique about it, right? But if if not, then why would somebody shift from the one that they already have, right? And uh, some of you said, uh, does the user want it and is willing to pay for it, right? So that qualifies as your desirability aspect. Then you look at the viability. Right, which says that is there a viable market? Viable means total addressable market hai ya and uh, from there, if I build a solution, will I be able to cater to a decent size of the audience? Is it financially viable? Is it affordable for my TG? And then the last one is feasibility, uh, which uh, did not come across. So, is there is the solution feasible in the first place? Right? Can I use the prevalent technologies, AI ko use karke, kisi or cheese ko use karke, can I build a solution that is going to be feasible for me to build? And um, yeah, and, and then also, uh, can you make a team around it? So that is very important. Uh, a lot of us talked about leadership and all. Right? So this is, uh, you know, in a nutshell of, uh, of what, you know, takes to be an entrepreneur. I've kind of given a very broad uh, scenario. So very quickly I'll touch upon some of this. This is going to be my last slide, uh, which is uh, if you have something that you want to pursue, if you have some idea through which you want to develop solutions, you want, there are problems that are, you know, uh, keeping you awake at night and you want to solve for them. Uh, some of the enabling things that are there in the scenario right now, we've got some amazing policies. There are, uh, you know, back when, back in 2015 or even, you know, earlier than that, uh, there were, starting something of your own was relatively difficult. Uh, these days there are, you know, clearances channels, there are entities like Startup India, Invest India, Atal Innovation Mission and all, who are doing a lot of these initiatives like Atal Incubation Center, where you can go and uh, kind of, get the right mentorship, get the right support, uh, discuss your ideas with a lot of people, build, try to build some technological solution around it and then you know convert it into venture. Of course it is also complemented by a lot of funding agencies so there's a lot of capital available provided you build a product that is relevant and uh, you know there for the market. So there are government grants available, there are angel funds, there are VCs and all of them are on the lookout to support the right entrepreneurs, right? So this is uh, all about it very, uh, very quickly, uh, you know, what we do is, uh, as, as I was saying at Adult Incubation Center, we work with a lot of uh, early stage founders, we, uh, so there are three M's that that uh, I kind of classify it uh, under. Uh, if you have to build a venture and you are a person with an idea, what all do you need? You need m m mentorship, you need money, and you need a market, right? So we try to address all of these through the right mentorship. Uh, we connect you with uh, corporations, government entities, etc., to provide you some sort of a market for the solution that you're building. And in the process, we also help you raise funds through our networks. And this is pretty much what the other incubators also do. There are technical in incubators who can help you with access to labs if you want to build a product that is 
tech heavy. Uh, but beyond that, uh, you know, uh, and every solution is quite unique. So we look at every uh, startup who comes our way, uh, and uh, all the interventions that we design are very bespoke for that particular startup. Uh, we really try to understand what you're building and how can you know we support you to go from zero to ten or then hundred whatever. Right. So that is my presentation. I'm open to questions if we have time. Um, Sorry, uh, is 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 work experience better than? So, like you have worked in O line and lines as well. So if you hadn't pursued an MBA degree, would you have, have been on the same level? Ah, okay. So, so okay, that's that's quite a philosophical thing. So I I can't say that, buddy. Um, uh, since you asked something personal, I wanted to study economics when I was in class tenth and twelfth. टेंथ क्लास में अभी पता नहीं क्या सिस्टम है बट हमारे में ना इलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ में हमको पीसीएमबी वगैरह लेना पड़ता था सो आई वेंट टू माय फादर आई सेड कि मुझे इकोनॉमिक्स पढ़ना है सो आई कैन स्टडी पीसीएम विद इट बट माय मेन फोकस वाज इकोनॉमिक्स लॉट ऑफ डेलीवरेशंस बहुत आई कम फ्रॉम अ नॉट अ वेरी ट्रेडिशनल बट आई कम फ्रॉम अ बनिया बैकग्राउंड मिडिल क्लास एंड फॉर सम रीज़न आई वॉज गुड इन स्टडीज क्लास में जनरली फर्स्ट सेकेंड आ जाता था तो उसका डिफॉल्ट आउटपुट ये होता है कि ठीक है लड़का इंजीनियर बनेगा तो वो अच्छा इंजीनियर बनने के लिए बैक कैलकुलेशन अगर करो तो आपको क्या क्या चाहिए आपको अच्छे मार्क्स चाहिए ठीक है तो वो देखा हुआ था सो दे सेट कि ठीक है यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी इकोनॉमिक्स ये तो बाद में भी पढ़ा जा सकता है अभी एक काम कर कंप्यूटर ले लें उसमें नंबर अच्छे आते हैं ठीक है सो देन आई टुक कंप्यूटर से आई सेट ठीक है बट ए गुड लाइन आई वॉज अ गुड बॉय जनरली ठीक है नॉट द रिबेलियस काइंड तो ले लिया एंड देन ट्वेल्थ खत्म की एंड बहुत सारे इंजीनियरिंग के एग्जाम्स वगैरह दिए उसमें ठीक ठाक स्कोर वगैरह आ गया बट एट द सेम टाइम आई वेंट एंड आई अप्लाइड टू उस वी वर इन डेली राइट एंड आई वॉज वेरी फैसिनेटेड विद गोइंग टू डेली यूनिवर्सिटी बिकॉज इट वॉज जैसे एस डी कॉलेज इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर कॉमर्स डेली यूनिवर्सिटी ऑल्सो है सो वहाँ पे एस आर सी सी स्टीफेंस सब में अप्लाई किया वॉट एंड टू स्टीफेंस इकनॉमिक्स ऑनर्स राइट वो किया दो हफ्ते तक वेंट टू द क्लासेस फिर वहाँ पे इसकी डेली कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग की काउंसलिंग आ गई एक सैटरडे को तो दैट सैटरडे आई वेंट टू द डी सी काउंसलिंग एंड मंडे आई वेंट बैक टू स्टीफेंस टू कलेक्ट माई रिलीविंग थिंग बिकॉज लड़के को तो इंजीनियर बनना था सो वेंट टू परस्यू दैट आई थिंक सेकेंड सेमेस्टर में समझ में आ गया था कि ये ना हो पाएगा एकदम क्लियर राइट सो देन आई स्टार्ट फिगरिंग आउट कि यहाँ पे और क्या कर सकते हैं फैंटेस्टिक फोर ईयर्स ऑफ माई लाइफ मेड ब्यूटिफुल फ्रेंड्स एंड बहुत सारे आई थिंक द इंस्टीट्यूशन एडेड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्किल्स इन मी सो गेव मी अ लॉर्ड ऑफ एक्सपोजर उधर कल्चरल एक्टिविटीज में लग गया इवेंट्स वगैरह ऑर्गेनाइज किए टू रियलाइज वॉट आर माई कोर्स स्किल्स राइट एंड देन आई सेट ये कोर्स स्किल्स अब कहाँ रिलेट करते हैं सो देन एम बी ए वॉज बाई चॉइस राइट एंड इफ आई वॉन्टेड टू डू एन एम बी ए वॉट वॉज आई स्टार्ट लुकिंग की अच्छी जगह कौन सी है तो आई आई एम्स है आई एस बी है बट ट्रेडिशनली वहाँ पर वर्क एक्सपीरियंस लगता था आई सेट वर्क एक्सपीरियंस तो मेरे को चाहिए ही बिकॉज बस का ही नहीं है एक दिन भी इंजीनियर बन के रहना तो आई सेट ठीक है अप्लाई किया आई एम कैलकटा हो गया वेंट तय नाउ All some of those things are a derivation of all of this, right? You go to some institutions, the kind of companies that come there, etc. They uh, kind of give you certain roles. So Ola and all has happened. Ola is specifically happened due to IIM, right? That gave me a lot of exposure, which I spoke about initially, right? Ki मतलब इतना कुछ हो रहा था इंडिया में उस समय देन आई सेट आई वॉन्ट टू गो डीपर इन टू इट सो वेंट टू द इंक्यूबेशन साइड विच वॉज वन लेवल यू नो ऑन द ऑन द प्री साइड कि स्टार्टअप बनता कैसे है वॉट आर द इनेबलिंग एंटिटीज एंड देन आई काइंड ऑफ स्टार्टेड परसुइंग ऑल ऑफ दैट 
स्टडीड इकोनॉमिक्स बाय द वे इन आई एम वहाँ पे अच्छे से पढ़ा इकोनॉमिक्स में ही ए ए कॉज आया था मेरा बट या जस्ट आई आई फॉरगॉट व्हाट यू वर आस्किंग बट ऑन ऑन सेइंग कि यार एमबीए किया डू डू आई थिंक कि मैं कहीं और आई आई डोंट नो यार आई डोंट नो बिकॉज फंडामेंटली आई वॉन्टेड टू स्टडी मैनेजमेंट आई से नहीं करता कहीं और से ज़रूर करता करियर ट्रेजेक्टरी कुछ और हो जाती मार्केटिंग में चला जाता ओला में गया इसलिए स्टार्टअप इकोसिस्टम का बहुत एक्सपोजर मिला वो करके रियलाइज कि अच्छा इसमें तो बहुत पोटेंशियल है तो इसमें लेट एस फाइंड समथिंग विच एंड बहुत सारी अपनी स्किल्स भी पता लगने लगी राइट right? uh, जैसे नीति आयोग गया uh, तो वहाँ से मैंने वो शिफ्टिंग टू रिलायंस आई वॉज द फर्स्ट एम्प्लॉई फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट रिलायंस सुनने में बड़ा लगता है बट इट वॉज अ स्टार्टअप विद इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एंटिटी सो वेन यू वर्क ऑन थिंग्स फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच ऑन एवरी आस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट 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 मेड बी रियलाइज कि यार मैं ना एक बार में पचास चीज़ें मेरे को करा लो एंड आई कैन गो इन टू द डेप्थ एंड आई कैन ईजली पुल माई सेल्फ आउट टू लुक एट द मैक्रो थिंग ऑल्सो सो देन आई सेट कि ठीक है ये चीज़ और स्टार्टअप्स के साथ करते हैं अभी वो बन गया है वहाँ पर चालू हो गया है तो अब ये करते हैं देन आई थिंक this one kind of seems the best so uh, i spoke whatever i had to just derive whatever answers <laughs> you wanted from me more questions please uh, you talked about entrepreneurial skills so is it something one must already possess or is it something you can learn along the way very good so um bahut cheeze bolte hain ki leaders are born they are not made and all uh, fundamentally i believe and i've seen people around me uh, there is some empirical data i have to kind of make this believe that people can be made entrepreneurs right if you kind of work on certain things right so if you go back and you think about a problem statement for that matter aap uska kuch solution banana start karo the moment you start doing that you will start gaining a lot of those skills right आप अगर एक प्रॉब्लम के बारे में सोचोगे तो प्रॉब्लम आइडेंटिफिकेशन से लेके सॉल्यूशन माइंडसेट क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग ये सब आपके अंदर डेवलप होने लग जाएंगे एंड देन फाइनेंस मार्केटिंग ऑपरेशंस वगैरह वंस यू डू ऑल ऑफ दैट यू विल काइंड ऑफ स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग अ कॉन्फिडेंस इन यू टू से कि अच्छा ठीक है अब मैं कोई या तो वही प्रॉब्लम इफ इट इज बिग इनफ अदरवाइज आई कैन लुक एट अ लार्जर इशू इन द सोसाइटी एट लार्ज और एट फ्रॉम अ कंज्यूमर लेंस है किसी को I don't know in the food market, in the D to C market, whatever you know. If there is something that excites you, you can pursue all of that. So it's not something that you are born with. At least I feel that, and uh, we have the relevant ecosystem slash capabilities to help you along the way, right? So if you have to make a tech solution banana and you don't come from a tech background, you can go to the relevant. tech institutes right you can go to a tech incubator and say that hey i have this idea i want a product around it and in the process you will learn right so it is something that is um, that is something that people can work on it's not something that you want with more questions or if possible okay i'm going to start with you then you then you then you okay right. uh, yeah. aic at iif is just for iif students and pass out or Right, so I ISB, uh, you know, uh, AIC at ISB, uh, we support uh, startups across stages, across sectors, and we are agnostic to the fact whether you are from ISB or not. Right, we run our incubation or acceleration programs where we deal with startups from across India. Uh, a lot of them are uh, are built by ISB alums, uh, but that will just be about. 20-30 percent of our portfolio. Uh, of course, being situated in ISB, we run some programs which are exclusive to ISB students. Uh, but that is just you know 5-7 percent of my work. And how to get in touch with AIC? Oh, so you, if you have an idea, just you know reach out to me. So, but how? How? Okay. So Anand will share the details. He has my. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. You can write to me. Okay. So now you can mention that you are officially associated with us also. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, you know, this morning, uh, uh, Dr. Vikram, by the way, has been 
instrumental in uh, in in getting uh, me and the institution here. Uh, we've just uh, signed an MOU, uh, which kind of enables a lot of you to reach out to us, whoever has an idea, and we will support you uh, with with different aspects. As we said, we have got fantastic mentors who can guide you on how to build your solutions. Uh, once you build a solution, we'll see how we can provide you with the relevant market access and along that if you uh, if if you pursue that really well then we'll also put you in touch with our investor group right so it's it's, it's very easy right? just reach out is what and more importantly start thinking about an idea and start building i already have one that is why i am asking all right great then then i hope to hear from you <laughs> sure uh, yeah so we are talking about startups uh, is it easier to start a startup right now than it was 10 years ago? Because I feel like more or less people are creating problems to be able to solve them. Yeah, so that, that happens. <laughs> Retrofitting a solution to a, pro, to a problem also happens. And we are, see the, the world is, is uh, very smart, okay? You are doing this, it's a good thing. If your solution is still unique, it will go. Uh, but in more likely circumstances, uh, when we sit for pitching, when our startups go to pitch for investments, etc., uh, or even when we as incubators, when we onboard startups, they go through the selection criteria, uh, we really go on to asking, what problem solve kar ho, right? So, if you've built a solution and then you're putting a problem to it, that also is fine, but then the problem should exist in the first place. Right? So, uh, so that is on the second part of your question. The first part is obviously the time can't be better in India. right? Um, uh, I don't know if you all are in the habit of reading or listening to podcasts. I, for that matter, I listen to this guy. His name is uh, Shantanu Deshpande. He's the founder of Bombay Shaving Company. Uh, he runs a podcast which is called The Barber Shop and I uh, would like to quote him. He says that uh, if India were to become a five trillion dollar economy, uh, we need to add one million jobs per month. That is 10 lakh jobs per month. Right? We are somewhere around 300,000 to 400,000. That's what he says. right? But what we fundamentally believe is that the next wave of job creation is going to come through the startups. right? Uh, and that has been happening. For instance, um, back in 2018, uh, Niti Aayog was uh, at the forefront of harnessing the potential of electric vehicles in the country. In that time, only in Delhi, three Mahindra Veritos were uh, the green number plate. And Niti Aayog was the first government building in which they charging stations. Banai the. Right? Uh, and we were calling all the auto manufacturers to say that this is going to be big. But to just four years down the line, four or five years down the line, we have all the auto manufacturers uh, building uh, EV solutions. Right? Ola has a super factory. Bana ke rakhi hui hai. Uh, we see, we in Punjab, mein rehte hai. we see Porsches with green number plates and all. Right? So all of this leads to a lot of job creation also. Right? And of course the economic development and it reflects in the GDP numbers. So, growth ke liye ye important hai and the timing cannot be uh, better. All of this was not possible 20 years or 15 years earlier. We at least, I can say in the, uh, we work a lot with early stage ventures. Jinke aise hi doubts hote hai, ki paisa kaan se raise karenge, uh, company register kaise karenge, uska kya process hai. So, all of that is very simplified right now. Uh, yeah. Sir, uh, I saw it on your LinkedIn profile that throughout your journey till now, you have got an opportunity to mentor a lot of caliber and talented group. So, what is that one thing which you think uh, is lacking behind in, in that group? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can roast it. Hey, just kidding. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, so what I have, uh, and, and mentorship in general is my, uh, is a is a passion project of sorts. I've been uh, ever since my IM days. I've been mentoring a lot of students. Even today, uh, I take out time to uh, mentor students of 
um, on one hand mentor students of time institute uh, who are preparing for their uh, gdpi and all uh, i mentor a few founders uh, who are building solutions from the scratch so uh, yeah, it's very difficult to point out ki missing kya hai of course uh, uh, people are very unique so it it is more for us to listen to them and understand ki kya banana cha rahe ho and dikkat kahan pe hai right and then is it possible for me to solve it at my end or can i use my network to solve it for you so that is what i do um a lot of uh, a lot of content and content consumption patterns have changed over the years uh you have a lot more information that is available to you uh people making good use of it can you know do wonders so that's that's what i say i don't go on the negative side <laughs> yeah but it's it's the good part about mentorship is that i get to interact with a lot of people uh and and really uh build relationships with them and trying to uh understand their backgrounds uh pura story samjho ki kahan se aaye ho uh, life mein aspirations kya hai and accordingly then what you are doing is it fitting to what you aspire for no thoda sa philosophical ho jata hai but it's very interesting right uh you then i'll come to you uh, first of all thank you st college for this mind boggling and drop this that gorgeous presentation and you also thank you Now my question is that why very few entrepreneurs get get great success and a major get future. Right. Like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Larry Page, Larry Ellison. Okay. So why why some succeed while others don't? So yes. so there is you know um, in the first in the second slide I showed all that goes on. behind the scenes right so are you resilient enough are you persevering enough are you building something that is totally you know unique um so all of those things kind of play a lot lot of role right i have also seen people who uh, kind of um, burnt out along the way uh, and it makes us as incubators very sad okay we um, the last thing i want is my is any of my startups shutting shop uh, when that happens we really try to understand here kya hua is there are there other things that we can ask you to pursue uh, in your process so i'll i'll tell you what uh, there was one um, one startup uh, who was working on micro delivery ye aapka zepto type ka ek platform bana rahe the so they were uh, kind of uh, shutting they said ki sir nahi ho payega we have already burnt a lot of cash we don't see the money coming in and without that and they had analyzed different scenarios okay uh, detailed aisa do mahine ka exercise kiya tha various excel sheets and all were prepared to realize ki money is the only issue abhi wo nahi pursue kar payenge so we said ki theek hai yaar ab aapko lagta hai and we have also tried through our networks you are not able to raise funds uh if this is what you decide then it then so be it right uh, but in the process they said they built some unique technology and during their research they found that somebody in the west sold that particular technology itself to some vc they sold it to the vc itself so they said ki isko sell karne ke liye hum log bana lete hain right so ab jab aap kaam karte ho to बहुत सारी चीज़ों पे आप काम करते हो ऑफ कोर्स स्किल्स तो बहुत बन ही जाते हैं पर्सनली सीन ग्रोथ ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दोज फाउंडर्स एंड इट्स इट्स वेरी हम्बलिंग दैट वे राइट सो टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन वो जो फर्स्ट में था ना डेडिकेशन परसिवियरेंस हार्ड वर्क वो चीज़ें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है लगे रहो राइट एंड इन द प्रोसेस सी फीडबैक फ्रॉम द पीपल हु यू लुक अप टू फ्रॉम योर मेंटर्स एंड उनसे uh see co right listen to diverse view points and then see what is good for your business and accordingly build right sir i will pursue because as a upsc candidate i want to become ias officer very good very nice uh, 
Sir, like you have a lot of experience, I wanted to ask what was that one startup that you found that was that had a great idea. You were surprised, but it did work out or it did not work out. Like, Ah, so there are there are many. Yeah. Uh, in this role, uh, we deal with a lot of startups. One, um, I think the one that comes to my mind for that question is, uh, so we've got a startup which is called Ashaya. Ashaya. And they're building uh, these sunglasses which are manufactured out of the waste wrappers. These chips and wafers we eat, the packet is made. Usko collect karke, they are building uh, sunglasses and all. So that is doing, and Unko we supported at an early stage. Uh, we also uh, connected them to a few clients and uh, they are kind of building a fantastic product around that. Uh, aur hai, which is, I, I think, if you look Shark Tank, you have seen it in season 1 or 2, mein hai, ek startup hai, which is called Pad Care. And uh, they are uh, kind of recycling these sanitary pads and uh, at a very, very uh, high level, okay? Uh, they uh, recycle almost 2.4 crores pads uh, per year. So that's a very big number. And uh, they are creating, you know, uh, flower pots, decorative items using the material, uh, you know, which was recycled from them. So, there are amazing examples. So how do you win your first? So it's okay. Are you able to identify your first customer? Is the first question. आपके जो peers हैं, आपके जो parents हैं, will they be, you know, if you're building a product that is for them, will they be, you know, willing to buy it from you? That is where the first test starts. In fact. Um, you know, Shantanu Deshpande ke baare mein mein baat kar In one of the podcasts, he said that uh, he gave the first uh, set of his razors to his dad. So, he used to use it and then he said, What a fantastic thing you've built. But then he came out with like blood clots and all. <laughs> right? So, then he realized that what are changes karne hai. So, uh, it's very important that uh, your close ones, hai, peers, hai, are they relating to what you're building and you test it out with them. Right? If there's a technology that you're building which is more uh, institutional or B2B in that sense, then you go to the relevant people uh, first in your network and see ki, uh, will they be interested in buying this. Uh, and then you seek feedback. The first market access is only for the feedback. So you learn this from that what you want to change in your product. Right? There, there's uh, there's a product on uh, uh, which uses uh, makhana, makhana all you, you all know. So, uske around a product hum log bana rahe. So, usme also you know uh, we we give it for tasting to our near and dear ones. Ki yaar, batao isme kya dikhte hai. Right? Uh, makhana ka ek and it's a side thing. So we are building a pasta around it. Right? So, usme hum log sochte hai ki. Uh, you, you literally we have stood by, uh, stood besides our wives to understand कि भाई क्या कैसे बन रहा है क्या इसमें if you cook a normal pasta, no, meaning the regular pasta, uh, उससे कितना different है, right? So you under, try to understand a lot of these things in the first uh, uh, market access that you do. Right. More questions? Sir, uh, particularly this line is very dynamic or it comes with challenges. Uh, so, did you face any challenge and how did you overcome from that? Uh, this line meaning entrepreneurship. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mera career to, as I said, right, uh, I've, I've just been uh, lucky at one uh, instance but uh, more vigilant on the others. Uh, more clear also that I want to stay in this space. There are amazing challenges that you come across. Um, so, as I said, with the, with one of the products that uh, that could not, you know, scale up. So uh, there are challenges. You sometimes 
you are not able to identify the right market. Sometimes you uh, are also not able to assimilate the right feedback. वो बहुत होता है, you know, when you are not uh, in the pursuit of building something of your own, आप उसमें इतना घुस जाते हो कि आप uh, ये नहीं समझ पाते कि मार्केट में सही में उसकी जरूरत है या नहीं, फिजिबिलिटी है या नहीं, right? Uh, and and वो entrepreneurial passion वगैरह सब आता है उसमें, but uh, you know, uh, as as uh, a person you need to pull yourself out, look at the macro scenario of the market and then see whether it is relevant and accordingly then make changes. So, what changes you can do quickly? Are you good with uh, operations? Are you able to execute fast? Um, because that is something that that uh, only startups bring to the table, right? The speed of execution. Ola, we used to launch in one day, two days. Uh, marketing campaigns and you know nationwide campaigns and all. So, in speed, mein aap, are you the visionary enough to build resources who would then be inspired to uh, roll out so fast? Uh, are there other people who also relate to your vision and then uh, build the product along? All of these things. More questions? Cool. I think this was very good. Thank you so much. I had a terrific time. Thank you, Thank you for being so amazing. Uh, it, it, it really, uh, you know, uh, you guys also after a little time, you'll be on this side of the table, right? So it's a little easy ho jata hai if people start interacting and uh, relating to what you're saying. But my best wishes to each and every one of you. I think. Uh, this institution is amazing, uh, uh, they're giving you the right education. Uh, wish you the best for uh, whatever you want to do in future. You come and connect with me and uh, if there are more people who uh, feel like connecting with me, I am very responsive on LinkedIn. I love to uh, connect with young founders uh, and listen to their ideas. Uh, LinkedIn email, uh, phone number, uh, Anand can share. And yeah, uh, thank you so much. Now I request all the uh, now I request all the event executives of Rotor Art Club to please gather on stage for a group group photograph. आगे आ जाओ बच्चे यहाँ बहुत जगह आगे आ जाओ आगे बैठ जाओ बैठ जाओ बैठ जाओ बैठ जाओ हाँ पोटेशियम